Hello everybody, so let's dive into the process of connecting a custom domain to the Google Sites website. Now Steven, let's see the process to give the site original touched. So the very first thing we wanted to do is to purchase a domain name. Usually here, what I wanted to do is to go here into my domain provider and I purchase an actual domain. Now let's say that I wanted to use this domain to link it directly into Google Sites. So what you wanted to do is to now you make the purchase of the custom domain. You wanted to choose, of course, the name that reflects with your brand and website identity and checks its availability. Now let's access Google Sites settings. Inside Google Sites, what you wanted to do is to have an actual website. If you don't have one, then you can go directly here into the black side or into an actual template gallery. So you can start creating something totally for free. Now let's check out here this actual website that we currently have here in TechPress. Now let's say, for example, that here what I wanted to do is to use this actual section this Google Sites, I'm going to go into Published, and here I'm going to go directly here into the three dots and go for View Publicity Site. As you can see here, have the published out of sites.google.com, view text ltd.com. You want to change that for the domain that we actually make the purchase one. So for that, what I'm going to be doing here first of all is to go back into Google Sites, and here I'm going to choose the name of my domain. In this case, it's going to be text videos. So text press videos for the title. Now let's focus into the right part and go for settings. Inside settings, what you want to do is to locate the custom domains that appeared in here. You don't have to pay absolutely for anything, but uh, we have to make sure that you have an actual plan, current plan and domain in order to make the purchase directly here into Google Sites. I'm going to go and go ahead with the start of the setup. Now here's going to be asking you to enter the domain. Usually what we do is to leave the triple W. Now I'm going to go back into the domain overview. I'm going to choose the domain that I actually purchased and I'm going to paste it here. So as you should see here, it says the domain is not verified. Please verify your ownership. So what I wanted to do is to go for verify the ownership. This one is going to be sending us directly into the search Google console. This is the part which you wanted to configure the DNS settings. So usually what we do is to choose the domain section, choose all the way here, go for continue. And now it says checking the actual verification. Now, what you wanted to do is to make the verification of the ownership via DNS records. So usually we choose the C name. And here what you wanted to do is to go back. And here look out for your domain overview. Usually let's focus into DNS name servers. Here into the name servers, what you want to do is to add a new record in order to make the verification of that. So usually I'm going to choose the TXT recommended person. So I go for copy all of this. I go back and here into the manage DNS records, let's choose a TXT. The name usually just leave this into add and the TXT value is exactly the same that was provided to us back here into the Google search console. So now that you have all of this, I'm going to go for verify after you add the record. So as you can see, it says DNS record created successfully. So I scroll all the way down and I make sure they have the Google site verification into the upper side. So let's go back here and go for verify. So this might be taking a few minutes. Sometimes the ownership verification, uh, it appears as failure. Sometimes it doesn't. So just make sure that you have waited enough time for that. Now I'm going to hit into done. Now let's go back and let's try to get started once again. So I'm going to just go for online. And as you can see, now we have this section we go for next. Lastly, what you want to do is to verify and publish. Once you have configured the actual DNS settings, you want to return, return to the Google Sites query here. Click into the option to verify your custom domain. Google will verify the DNS configuration. And once verified, you can now publish your website using the custom domain. So I go for uh, the connection to third party domain register. We want to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go back here and it's going to be asking us for a C name. So I choose instead of TXT, I go for a C name. And now I have now the new under name, which is triple W. And my C name destination is this way. I copy it. I go back here, triple W. I paste my target and I add the record. After that, I just wanted to make sure that here is my C name already been uh, added. As you can see, here it is. So I now go back, I go for done, and it's going to be assigning an actual domain. So the custom domain is now been assigned. And there you have it, guys. You want to make sure now that you can verify that your actual store has this new section. Go for published, and then you're actually good to go. Go for the feed dots and go for um, view publicity side. So this might be taking a few times 
Uh, so it might be taking like an hour, since I'm gonna be taking like two hours. But this is how you can actually make the connection between your custom domain and directly here into Google Sites. So congratulations, you have successfully do this. Now with the site, you have a professional brand web address. If you find this kind of helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more website building tips. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Happy site building.